Welcome to part 2 of our Lumen and Nanite tutorial series. In this video you will learn everything about Nanite and how to set up your meshes so that they work with this new rendering technique of Unreal Engine 5. Have fun watching! Nanite is a new technique for rendering meshes that uses what is called cluster culling. This means that Nanite automatically divides the mesh into clusters and renders only the part of the mesh that is actually seen on the screen. The size of the clusters is based on camera distance, which makes mesh LODs obsolete, as this is also handled automatically by Nanite. By rendering only what is seen on the screen results in a tremendous amount of details that can be rendered by the engine, which in turn allows for the production of extremely high quality meshes without having to worry about polygon counts. In general, Nanite should always be enabled for your meshes in UE5 and Nanite only works in DirectX 12. So before you start, make sure that your project settings are correct. So go to the top left and click on Edit. Then select the project settings. Now scroll all the way down on the left to the platform settings and select windows here. At the very top you will find the default RHI setting. Make sure that this setting is set to DirectX 12 and close the project settings. In the next step I will show you how to import a new mesh and set it to Nanite. So drag and drop your mesh into your content browser or import it how you're used to. When the import options pop up, you just have to set a checkbox for build Nanite and that's all you need to do for a new mesh to work with Nanite. Now click on import and we are done. You can also change easily one or more meshes in your content browser to use Nanite by selecting all of them. Now do a right click and at the top you will find Nanite and then you just need to click on Enable and your meshes are converted to Nanite meshes. To check an already existing mesh, open the mesh details and on the right you will find Nanite settings at the top. Here make sure that Enable Nanite support is set. In case it isn't, set the checkbox and apply the changes. Then you can close the mesh view and Nanite is also enabled for this mesh. In case you migrate your project from UE4 to UE5, you want to change all your existing meshes to use Nanite. To do this, go to Tools in the top, select Nanite Tools, then go to the tab uh, Optimize, and for the triangle threshold, we will set this value to use 1 to filter all the meshes that don't use Nanite yet. All are selected per default and when you click Enable Nanite, all your meshes will be changed to Nanite meshes, which is an easy and fast approach for changing a lot of meshes at once. When you are done, close the window and last but not least, I want to cover Quixel Bridge as well. Since UE5 it is implemented in the engine and you can directly import Nanite meshes from there by just clicking on the plus in the top bar, then Quixel Bridge. Once it is open, select any 3D asset you want to import into Unreal Engine. Let's take this one here. And in the bottom right, make sure that you select Nanite. Now just export it to UE5 and your asset will be set up correctly. Once all your meshes are set up to use Nanite and placed in your scene, make sure that Nanite works by clicking on the view mode icon in the top left. Then select Nanite Visualization and then Clusters. And when you see all those colorful clusters in your scene, your nanite meshes are good. When you move the camera, you can also see that the cluster LODs are working. In case you have any black meshes, make sure that those are correctly set up to use nanite. In my case, the black meshes are skeletal meshes, which is totally fine. And this brings us to the end of the tutorial. With the last part of the tutorial series, you now know everything you need to know to get started with Lumen, Nanite and Unreal Engine 5. So thanks for checking it out. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscription and see you in the next video guys. Bye bye.